Stephen Walsh with the American Red Cross joins us live now to talk about the relief efforts underway in Florida. So what are you guys doing right now? Hey, good afternoon. So right now, uh, the Red Cross and other organizations have about 260 shelters open across the state. And the number of folks that we're seeing in these shelters goes above 33,000 people. So from the Red Cross point of view, mm. we're all about fixing and taking care of your immediate needs, which is safety, a place to sleep, mm -hmm. food to eat, and then access to resources as you start to contemplate, what am I gonna do next once I leave the shelter? And, and as you're talking, I mean, we are putting up a QR code for you to scan if you would like to donate. Can you tell people, that, that QR code will take you right to the donation page for the Red Cross. Can you tell people what the money is used for? How do you use, let's say $5 or a $10 donation? Simple donations that are even that small do a lot. Like a $10 donation, for example, can get someone a blanket that they're gonna need when they need to sleep in the shelter. So we accept donations of any size and we make it as easy as possible. So you can use the QR code that's on your screen. You can call 1-800-RED-CROSS or you can go to our website, which is redcross.org slash donate. And you can choose where you want your money to be donated to. And really money is the best way to help out. Donating things doesn't really help because then you'd have to transport them, store them, divvy them up, um, it, you can really stretch a dollar, can't you? Absolutely, and actually donating money instead of trying to donate stuff is much better because we can turn that donation around very quickly and decide what we need to spend it on um, the quickest to mm -hmm. take care of all the people that we're taking care of at these shelters, absolutely. Stephen, it was just about a week ago we were talking about the devastation in Puerto Rico from Hurricane Fiona and then just earlier this month in our own backyard with the mosquito fire. Uh, talk about the impact the Red Cross provides during times of, of natural disaster, whether it be wildfire, flooding, or, or hurricanes. Well, I'll tell you, that's one of the things that I'm most proud about this organization is that we are incredibly nimble and we have thousands of volunteers around the country who are ready to step up and help. Right now, in fact, in Florida, there are upwards of 730 volunteers on the ground and there's mm. more coming. So again, we're talking about taking care, of, taking care of people's immediate needs. And sometimes it's <clears> as simple as just asking someone, how are you doing? So they yeah. can tell their story and kind of lean on you for a second. Yeah, sometimes people just need a caring human connection. You know, they just need to feel heard. Stephen, thank you so much. I appreciate your time and uh, everything that the Red Cross is doing. And if you would like to help the Red Cross, again, scan the QR code. We're gonna show it to you again so that you can see our QR code. And that will take you right to the American Red Cross donation page. And that is a safe link. It is okay to click on that link that will pop up on your phone. Uh, again, anything helps, even as you just heard there, five, $10, you're gonna help someone eat, you're gonna help someone stay warm with a blanket. Any of that amount of money will help. Again, scan the QR code right now and it will take you to the American Red Cross link to donate.